Hello everyone. Today we are going to handle a question on 2D mensuration. The large circle has a radius of 10 cm. Find the radius of the largest circle which will fit in the middle. So this is the figure given to us. We have a large circle and we are supposed to find out the radius of the largest circle which will fit in the middle. So the largest circle that will fit in the middle would be tangent or it will be touching at one point each to each of the four circles. So this is how it will look like. So we are trying to find out the radius of this blue circle here. Now to find out the radius of this blue circle, the data that is given to us is the radius of the large circle which is 10. Let's try and make some connections and equations. So what we'll do is we can make a straight line this way, you know, and connect it. So here the radius of these white circles, orange circle and blue circle can be connected. We are just interested in finding out the radius of this blue circle. So we will just zoom this portion and let me see, show you how this figure looks like. So we are just bothered about this figure. Okay. Now the white, orange and blue circles are connected. Here let us take the radius of the white circle as x. So if this is x, this is also x. This is the radius. And let the radius of the blue circle be y. So one connection that we have between x and y is that x plus x plus y is equals to 10 because this is the radius of the large circle. So 2x plus y is equals to 10. This is a linear equation in two variables. We need one more such equation so that simultaneously we are able to solve these two equations. So here we are trying to connect the dots and we have joined the point of contact between these two circles and the center of the smaller circle here. So we join this, we join this. They'll be perpendicular and this ultimately will be a square. So we also have a connection between the diagonal of a square and the side. So if this is x, this is also x, right? So can we also connect that x plus y is the diagonal of this yellow square, which is actually root 2 of the side of the square. That's x. So root 2 x minus x equals to y. This is another equation that we can use to solve. Now we can solve them by eliminating y or we can use substitution method to solve these two simultaneous linear equations. Let's substitute the value of x so that we can directly obtain y, which is our objective. So we take root 2 minus 1 here and x common. So x equals to y upon root 2 minus 1. I'll try to rationalize it so that it becomes simpler to handle. I multiply both the numerator and denominator with root 2 plus 1. So this is root 2 plus 1 times y upon 2 minus 1, which is simply 1. Let's now substitute this value of x into the first equation so that we'll get a linear equation in one variable. We could have also used Pythagoras theorem to connect them. That will give you a quadratic equation. That's your choice. Now, twice of x plus y equals to 10. So twice of x can be substituted as root 2 plus 1 times y plus y equals to 10. So this becomes y common 2 root 2 plus 2 plus 1 equals to 10. 1 remains here and this comes out here. You know, I've just taken out common. So y times 2 root 2 plus 3 equals to 10. y equals to 10 over 3 plus 2 root 2. Now you can directly use your calculator to solve this value or if you want to simplify it further and then use your calculator, we can use it here. 10 upon 3 plus 2 root 2. I can rationalize this expression with 3 minus 2 root 2. So the denominator will be 9 minus 8. It will be 3 squared minus 2 root 2 whole square. That's 9 minus 8. And this would be 10 times 3 minus 2 root 2. So the denominator is 1. 
and this value when you calculate you will get this in decimals as 1.715 centimeters so this is our final answer i hope this is clear to all of you thank you